So as you can see, I am currently uh, in my living room. There's a kitchen. Um, and this is a quick HoloLens demo. So let's go ahead and open the car. You can see me uh, making the air tap gesture. There's our car. So the HoloLens now projected um, the hologram in my living room. As you can see, it's hovering right over the center of the um, of the living room. I can now actually interact with parts of the hologram, so I could open the hood or the door, which will close the hood. And when I get closer to the hologram, then you can see that the limitations of the screen actually limit the part of the car that will be visible. So let's go ahead and open the hood and take a look at that engine. So as you can see, I can get really close, but the, the vision is limited to about this size. When I step back though, I can see the bigger picture again. So yeah, really quite nice. So let's close this for now. And let's open uh, something else. Take a look at home. Brilliant, huh? It's really beautiful. So I can actually walk around this hologram that's currently in my living room. I'm just uh, going to go ahead and open um, open a quick menu here. So let's go back. And this is really, I think, is the nice thing that um, you can put stuff, holograms, applications uh, in your living room at certain points. So when I move, for instance, the menu. So here's the menu, and you can see that the hologram, was, the Hololens, was actually mapping my surroundings right there. Uh, I can, for instance, open uh, a browser page, and I can put it uh, here on the wall, and it will stay there. So it's now attached to the wall, as you can see, and it stays there until I move it. Of course, um, I can open one more so for instance let's go ahead and take the settings and I will move that to in midair so one screen is now attached to the wall the other one is in midair I can obviously also take this adjust it a little bit make it a little bit smaller for instance like that and as you can see they are quite stable in the room even if I shake my head and then they, they, they keep in the same place so that's really nice HoloLens also offers um, speech activation so I can uh, remove this screen uh, or I can uh, select this item, adjust, select, oh, we, all have, we have to actually drag that, I'm not sure how that works yet, Ooh, let's, let's make it not too big, like that, Ooh. put it on there, that's it, done. So, a lot of interesting stuff going on. Um, I'll show you one more application. Uh, let's see. So, let's do a small game. Um, and the couch is also mapped. 
I do believe someone is sitting there. <laughs> yeah, so someone was sitting on the couch when the mapping was uh, done. Um, and so it seems someone was also standing next to it. So uh, let's just go ahead and see if we can correct that real quick. Refine living room. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and scan this over because this shouldn't be blue and you will see now that the person on the couch will probably be disappearing there we go see knees are still there okay so this looks a lot better reshaping the couch it's really important to really map all those surfaces okay so let's go ahead and now uh, continue and you will see that the game will interact with those surfaces as we go okay so we're back there's some stuff over here uh, let's see where we are yeah there we are You can see that <coughs> the window is actually stuck to the wall, which is pretty good. It's, it stays there, so that's good. This is our main character, uh, a squirrel, I believe. So here we go. Squirrel is currently floating. Okay, so there's the squirrel. Now let me move around the squirrel, uh, move around the squirrel, so that you can see that it will actually uh, interact with um, with its surroundings. Okay. Here again, you can see as I move back that we will be able to see more of the game. Uh, because the window on this version of the HoloLens is still a little bit small. Uh, so it's about this size uh, in my total view field. Um, next version of the HoloLens will also support multi-gestures. Uh, so you can use two hands to, um, to interact with the, with the application. Okay, let's go. I'm going to walk around here. Just oh, oh! I think I shouldn't be in the yeah. And here you can see that I will be actually moving onto the table. I'm on the table now. Okay, to have a different idea of what's going on, I will go ahead and jump on the couch. There we go. It's on the couch now, and I can move up the pillow now. I can come on yeah and walk on the edge of the couch so there's a squirrel again and as you can see it wa is walking on the edge of the couch now and I will just go ahead and roll down where the person was sitting before and eventually jump let's see if it got the ironing board no so now it's down on the floor again gonna go ahead and pick up these coins real quick I'm going to end this video but you got the idea so the uh, hologram is actually interacting with the surfaces that I've scanned in my living room and uh, you can use those surfaces to uh, to bind objects to pause game pause game yeah. just turn on the lights right so you can see that the game is now paused. The bar is over there. Uh, and I believe these markers on the floor, and uh, they are like uh, um, designating the end of the play area. So there's a lot of stuff going on in the living room, but let's just focus on the bar for now. So it just it jumped up right there, and it's now on the bar. Resume.
So let's go to the health thingy and restore your health. So yeah, let's jump down the bar on the floor again. That's how it's interacting with the surfaces in your home.